Hi, I'm Steve Walters with American Photonics. Today, I want to talk to you about mirrors. A lot of you are brand new users to the CO2 laser world, and I'm going to go over all the different types there are and give you my recommendations and tell you the pluses and minuses of each one. Uh, there's a lot of misconception out there, and I hope I can clear that up. And if you have any questions at all, please go put it in the comments, and I'll try to do my best to answer them. As you can see here, this is mine. I'll cut to the chase. The end of the story is, my opinion, silicon mirrors are the best. Okay, so well, let's go through the different mirrors and why I think that's true. Uh, to start with, you have the what I think is the cheapest, and they are the least expensive, but they also uh, the least, uh, they last the longest and have not real good performance. So the performance of a mirror is really based on, uh, it's how reflective it is in CO2 laser. Now the enhanced coatings, the enhanced mirrors are going to reflect more than the uncoated, uh, unenhanced mirrors. Uh, the coatings are around two microns thick, so they're not real, they're not very thick, and uh, they're just evaporated up there through evaporation of uh, the, the solids, and then they adhere to the mirror and cause it to work properly. Now the glass mirror, as you can see here on the screen, is basically fused silica, it's glass. Now, glass is not a real good substrate, for handling the uh, heat that's going to be uh, taken on by the laser through the absorption process. So uh, that expansion of the glass and contraction of the glass when it cools off again, isn't real good for the life of the coating sticking to it. Okay, but they are the cheapest. They do work. You're gonna get, nine, when they're new and clean, they're gonna get maybe 99.5% uh, reflection. And a lot of the cheaper machines, this is what they come with, okay. The next one you're gonna see that's probably the most common one, I think every machine out of China pretty much comes with these, is the Molly mirror, okay? Molly is a, a crystal metal and it reflects naturally without any coating. This, this, these mirrors don't have coatings on them. Uh, they reflect 99% uh, or 98.9% uh, with no coating. Now, the and, and listen, they're, they're about the same price as a silicon mirror. A lot of people love them. They say they're more durable. Well, this, in a way that's true, there's no coating that can come off. It's, it, it's that reflective surface. Uh, you can't you know, get soot all over it and damage or clean it wrong. Uh, this, the molly is pretty good. It can handle the heat. It's not gonna uh, expand and contract very much. So your beam profile isn't gonna change a lot. So it's going to, uh, perform, send the beam down the path uh, pretty good. Uh, again, you lose 1% per mirror. By the time you hit all three mirrors, you're talking about a loss of about 2.5% power, which, which isn't very much, but you know, listen, you wanna get the maximum out of your machine, that's 2.5%. Um, the problem with Molly is Molly by itself, uncoated, unprotected, does tarnish. So when it's brand new, you're gonna get 90, uh, 98.9%, .9%, but I mean, it's gonna straight up, it's gonna drop off immediately after it's polished. And eventually you're gonna see, you know, what looks like uh, heat marks on the round the edge. It's, it's the oxidation of the molly where it hasn't been, and, and the more you polish it, it's, it's unprotected. It's going to, you know, if you're real aggressive with that, you can actually change the flatness of the mirror. So uh, another negative thing about molly, it doesn't reflect the, red laser, if you're using a beam combiner where you reflect, reflect your red laser off of the molly all the way through, it only reflects about 65% uh, of that red laser. Now, if you take that through your beam combiner, which is uh, only allows about 90% of the beam to go red laser to bounce off, then it hits the first molly mirror at 65%. And then the next molly mirror at 65%. And then the last molly mirror at 65%. Uh, and then goes through the lens, which is probably only gonna uh, transmit about 80% of whatever red laser is left you're probably looking at about, uh, you lose about almost, you're gonna have about maybe 15% of your red laser left. So Molly isn't the best for transmitting that red laser. So uh, it, it is a little bit cheaper. It doesn't have a coating to wear off. Uh, it, it'll, it'll degrade and oxidize and it'll still work. You're not gonna get, right? you lose a little bit of uh, reflection. Uh, you know, so there's some gives and takes with Molly. It is the most common mirror out there. You're not saving any money, okay. The, the, here's the one that's the, the fallacy, the myth, okay? The copper mirror. Now these things you can see, they're like double and they're touted as, you know, they're, they're better. They aren't, okay? You're, they're coated, so the coating can come off. 
um, copper, it's going to only reflect 99.5%, just like the glass. So you're going to get 0.5% absorption in to that mirror also. But copper, boy, copper heats up and it changes shape like crazy. No, the coating is not going to really come off any more or less uh, because copper is a really good binding agent for the, uh, for the, for the electric stack, but the coating that's on there. Uh, but you're paying a lot of money. Uh, I guess you could say one advantage is the copper is kind of reflective naturally. Naturally, copper reflects like Molly, 98.9%. Uh, so the enhancement gives you that extra that you want. Uh, and then when the coating wears off, you're still going to have a good copper reflector there. Copper reflects your red laser from your beam miner, pretty good. But I mean, what are you getting? It, it, your beam, as it heats up, it will change shape because copper, the thermal, uh, you know, reaction of copper with heat is just, it's really bad. It will, as it heats up, it'll change the shape of your beam. Times three, you know, what kind of mode are you gonna end up with? Is how's that gonna affect? And, and you're paying out double for this, okay? Uh, the final one I'm gonna go through is uh, the silicon mirror. Now this is mine. You can buy silicon mirrors everywhere. Uh, the silicon, when the coating wears off, again, okay, I'm gonna get, on my silicon mirrors, you're gonna get 99.7%. Uh, I use some uh, better materials. Uh, I, I'm not restricted by some uh, national laws that uh, the Chinese are. So I get a, an extra, you know, 0.15% of uh, reflection out of my mirrors. Uh, I'm using an old design. Now my, my mirrors are silver looking where a lot of them are gold looking. The only difference there is in, in that layering I use uh, zinc sulfide instead of zinc solenoid. Uh, so it just gives it, it where if I use zinc solenoid as the outside layer, which is that orange material, it gives it a gold look. Uh, zinc sulfide is a very, very, almost almost identically uh, uh, chemically the same as zinc solenoid, but it's it's clear in color um, and it's actually harder. It's a, it's a military crystal used for thermal imaging cameras, which is more durable than zinc solenoid. Uh, so, and it, and it is actually a little bit more difficult to evaporate because it has, you can get it about uh, 300 degrees centigrade hotter to get it evaporated. Uh, but it actually, when it goes on, it, it, it's harder. And if you look at my mirror, it's silver. So across the spectrum, all the way down to the very beginning of the visible, it reflects 97%. So your beam provider is going to uh, transmit better all the way down to the, you know, to the red, all the way to the end. Uh, you lose very little light uh, reflection on this. The, the outside coating zinc sulfide doesn't oxidize. So as long as you keep it clean and it is, while it is clean, uh, for the life of that, it's going to work really good. You're going to get the same 99.7% reflection. Now, uh, unlike Molly, the, the, the disadvantage of silicon uh, over say copper or Molly is when the coating wears off, uh, if you burn it and you get it really dirty and damn, it just damages the coating. You know the mirror's gone. You replace it. Now, my you're not you're not caught. They're not real expensive. Even my mirrors, I think the best quality that there is out there. They're not really that much more money than any of the other ones. Obviously, they're more than the glass mirrors, but but you really are getting what you pay for if you buy the glass mirrors. You're buying the cheapest. You're you're getting the cheapest, and uh, you know whether you. You, hey, is it still going to cut? Yes, you, you could. Uh, I need CO2 agent is going to burn stuff, you know. So, but do you want to, to burn in the highest quality or you want to burn into a, you know, a lesser quality and you get the best product, you get the best result. So, that's my overview of mirrors. If you have any other questions, please just, just ask uh, in the comments section and um, good luck with your laser. Thank you.